this lecture we show how an intensity transformation whose functional shape is derived from an image's cumulative frequency plot can be used to distribute the image's intensity values more uniformly and nearly equalize an image's histogram. Well here's the black and white image of an old house that we used in our introductory lecture on image histograms. We've also shown its intensity histogram and its cumulative frequency plot. Now suppose we use the cumulative frequency plot as an intensity transformation function. For example, if we look at this point, all of the image pixels whose intensity are 165 would be transformed to an intensity of 0.6493 times the maximum intensity. In this case, the maximum intensity is 255. So intensities of 165 would be transformed to an intensity of 165.57 or we might round that to 166. As another example, input intensities that are equal to 188 would be transformed to 0.9098 times the maximum intensity of 255 or 254.49 which we would round perhaps to 255. For the most part, the intensities wouldn't change much except for the larger intensities that would be slightly increased. Well, here's what happens after we apply the transformation. The frequency histogram has been spread out a bit and is more evenly distributed, and the cum cumulative frequency plot looks very much like a straight line. It deviates a bit from a straight line with some minor jaggedness, but the way it resembles a straight line indicates that we've made the intensities much more evenly distributed from low to high values. Keep in mind that an image with a perfectly flat histogram, that is an image for which each intensity value appears in an equal number of pixels, would have a cumulative frequency plot that is a perfect line along the diagonal. Well, Now let's take a look at a dark image. If we use the cumulative frequency plot as an intensity transformation, then all of the pixel intensities will be increased, and those with an intensity of around 50 will be increased the most. Well, here's what happens when we do that transformation. The image looks better, and the cumulative frequency plot is similar to a straight line. The stair-like jaggedness is exaggerated in this image largely because the input image intensities were concentrated over a small number of intensities and when we spread them out, they won't be able to cover all 255 of the values. Well, here's a bright image. Using the cumulative frequency plot as an intensity transformation will decrease most intensities now. And here's the result for that transformation. Again, there's a bit of a staircase jaggedness, but overall the cumulative frequency plot suggests that the intensities have been more evenly distributed. Now here's a low contrast image. According to the cumulative frequency plot, we'd need to decrease its low intensities and increase its high intensities. Now let's see what happens when we do that. And finally, here's a high contrast image. Histogram equalization, according to the cumulative frequency plot, requires us to increase low frequencies and decrease low intensities and decrease high intensities. And here's the result for that. Well, histogram equalization is a way to distribute the intensity values in a more uniform manner within an image. One way to accomplish this is to use the image's cumulative frequency plot as an intensity transformation. And for dark images, light images, or images with poor contrast, this method can serve to enhance the appearance of the image. Under some circumstances, however, histogram equalization might degrade the appearance of an image, so you should always use care and judgment when applying this subjective method for image enhancement.